Hello, this is Andrew, and this is Unify's new USW Flex Mini Managed Switch. It's a five-port switch. It is PoE-powered or USB Type-C powered. It has five uh, gigabit Ethernet ports, and it claims that the max power draw is 2.5 watts. This should be supported on any Unify network, anything that runs with a Unify controller, whether that's a traditional Unify uh, controller configuration with a cloud key or on a uh, Windows or Linux box or with the uh, new UDM model where the controller is part of the gateway. Um, so we're going to get this unboxed and then we're going to have a look at it. So inside you can see there's some nice padding Looks like this is our USB type C charger, which is cool. I am very pleased to see that they've switched to USB type C um, if they're going to have external charging. Um, I guess the question is can you use this with a phone or something else that supports USB type C? It's kind of hard to see. I don't know if that, you can read that. This outputs, oh, it's uh, five volts, one amp. So it should work with a, uh, a phone, although not very quickly to charge it. And here is the switch. And that is absolutely tiny. There's instructions in here, but they're kind of stuck there. It's probably just a quick start guide. I'll have a look at that maybe. Uh, for reference, this is a GoPro, and this is an iPhone 6, I think. Yeah, it's iPhone 6. So this is tiny, and that's awesome. That's exactly what I want, actually. So I use these things, or I, I not not this one because it's brand new, but um, right now I use their 8-port version of the managed switch uh, anywhere where there's a television in the house because the different uh, devices in there, they need network connectivity. I'd rather have them be wired versus uh, using Wi-Fi. And then because it's managed, I can put each port on a different network if I want to. So... Um, obviously, this would be the power because it's PoE in. This does not do PoE pass through, but I don't use that feature anyway. And then I can put up to four devices uh, on Ethernet at that place. So, like if I wanted to put like a Sonos and a Shield and a television and an Xbox, I could do that. And I wouldn't run out of ports. And each one could be on a different network. Um, like the Xbox would almost certainly be on the kid network so that I can track time using circle um, It has more content or DNS type restrictions that kind of thing. Um, I do that I can do that using Wi-Fi now, but then all that traffic is on the Wi-Fi and I'd rather if I can I would like to put it on a wire um, Just to have a, a little bit better manageability and then also less contention for resources so uh, actually, let's measure it since I have my calipers here. And it is 106.8 millimeters by 70.1 by 21.1. And this thing, it weighs nothing. Um, actually, let's, let's put it on the scale to see what that is. Um, weight obviously doesn't really matter when it comes to switches, but if you're going to command strip this to something, which uh, I almost certainly will be, uh, the weight does matter. And at 99.7, so less than 100 grams, this will have no trouble uh, getting attached to like the back of a television, the back of a table, uh, the wall even if you needed to. Uh, so hopefully this works really well, better than the UDM Pro has treated me lately. Uh, but let's go get it hooked up in Unify and let it go. 
Switch reviews are generally pretty easy because either they work or they don't. And in this case, the Ubiquiti Unify USW Flex Mini worked great. I have uh, no complaints with it. It is a fantastic value, and it reminds me of why I like uh, Unify Kit, because the value is good, and it works well most of the time. And it's a unified, simple management in a central console where I can control the things that I want to control and get my network working the way that I want it to work. In this case, the value of the switch is even more outstanding than it is normally. Uh, 30 bucks for a five port gigabit ethernet switch isn't a lot of money, considering that this is fully managed and it is PoE powered, so I can restart the thing from the Unified console uh, using because it's powered by my 48 port uh, PoE switch um, is amazing and the power draw is well below what Unify or what Ubiquity claimed. My guess is that's probably all five port ports going or worst case without all five ports going full tilt. Power consumption is usually around one and a half watts and this screenshot shot here it shows 1.53 which is outstanding for a five port switch in general um, and especially since it's a managed switch. Throughput is well within spec for a gigabit Ethernet uh, switch. Uh, measured here we're using iPerf around 986 megabits per second all the way through which means that Ubiquity has a product here which ticks all the boxes. It's a great value, it has a great feature set, and it delivers the performance that it's supposed to. Um, I'm very pleased with it. I plan to grab a couple more of these when they get back in stock because they're all sold out. So yeah, fantastic. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments or things that I didn't address and you want to ask about them, put them down in the section below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.